good afternoon or good evening everyone there edward here actually it has been quite a long period of time since i last made the last video so today i've, I've come up with quite a, a technical video yeah I, I believe people out there are facing this problem today uh, i was trying to design one website for one of my clients and uh, I happened to have a, a cracked, sorry, not cracked theme, but it had a problem, a WordPress theme, so I could not get the visual interface, the back end design. Now, there's no way you can tell a client that, you know what, something is happening in the site, you should find other way out to, to fix it. So basically, it was not displaying the images at the back end, yet I wanted to change all the images, most of the images which were not relevant to the pages, I wanted to change them to the new ones. But I could not get access to the to the images. Now, what I had to do is to find a way of tackling that, other than that kind that kind of style. So I I I did some research on on, on internet, but it was not so detailed. Uh, so I'm just trying to make this short video so that you guys can use it, just in case you get locked out someday. Okay, basically the site I'm displaying now is our website called Ed Marketing Solutions, uh, SEO services, PPC. You can easily check it out if you need some of our services. But let's, let's head straight to the main topic of today so that we don't keep the video too long. Okay, I'm going to use one of my websites. Uh, it's called Attain Work. The, the first version of Attain Work, it is on a local PC. This is the tab here. I was trying to update the plugins. That's why it is saying this. Let's check if it has finished. I think it has finished. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, let me just pull it to here. I was trying to update a lot of plugins. Okay. Check in a minute. I think we cannot wait this one. Let me log into this other site and then we see what happens. Basically, most of my websites are on WordPress. And this is how I go in. Uh, Let's see what is going on. A second here. Okay. Uh, let me try to log into this one. Quickly, I wanted to use the other one, but it's not showing me. Uh, it is not, not logging in at the speed that I expected to. Yeah, let me check. Let me keep, keep checking as we go on. <coughs> you never know, I might find it ready. If it is still throwing the same page, then no need. Let's go here. Okay, now we are at the back end of this website. Okay, so uh, I'm going to run it like this so that you see what I'm trying to mean. Uh, what I'm trying to mean. Uh, basically, the speed that the website loads will depend on how you optimize your site. Sometimes it will depend on the on your internet. So this is it now. Let me duplicate this page. Okay. Now let us try to get one image here. For example, I want to change this image right here. You see this image? Now my website uses uh, UX Builder. I'll make videos on that in future. So if I click on Edit with UX Builder, let's see what it what it shows. And then here, I'll also say Edit, but not with UX Builder because we have two options. The the second option is the third option is to duplicate this page. But the Edit options we have Edit, the classic mode, and then Edit with UX Builder. So I'll click on this edit as well, so that it also loads in the back end. And let's see. You see how it is loading? It is taking quite some time. This I don't know what normally causes this, but now this one shows the image. So on the other project of the client, I am locked out. I can see the banner, I can see the text, I can see other texts, but I cannot see the image. You see what it's saying here? It's saying loading. Now, this is where I faced an issue. The client wants me to change this particular image, but I cannot change. Okay, so how did I go about that? Now, uh, you go to the site. Uh, it has not yet opened the back end. Okay. Let's wait a little bit. Yeah, we are now on the back end. So what you do, uh, you duplicate as many pages as possible. When you, when you become advanced, then you can try to, to come up with your own style. So this is the back end in the classic mode. Okay, this is how my website looks. These are the codes. 
most of them are short codes now what do you do here duplicate that one let's go back here okay on the home page you go to you go to media you go to media uh, uh, it's not so slow speed is not, speed of the internet is not good it's actually making my video to become so long but let me thanks for the patience for all those who are tuned in okay now i check on this one as well so it's still throwing the same error which is okay scheduled maintenance check back in a minute let's see what are these guys showing okay now this one opens up the, uh, the media library where we keep all images so you see it is loading here so it is still going through all the images so that it can throw a display to us okay let's see now here as the other one is loading on this page you check when you look at this code here you look for something like image image id okay let's check if you don't find it for a matter of saving time you can search type image id okay now you look at this one it says image id is equal to 3996 okay so it means if you how do you then get the ids of each and every photograph in the website this the other the style is this one let's see if it has loaded some images here it has already some images now uh, because the internet is not so good i'll not wait for others to load as well i'll simply go to this one which is showing you see now this is thumbnail mode okay so you change it to list you change it to list so that they get listed now once they get listed this is how it will look so it is just a simple trick there are other trick, three, three, uh, tricks out there based on the level of of uh, of of proficiency or professionalism or exposure in WordPress, but this one is just for the, the beginners to, to embrace. Now, what you do, you simply hover on this image, just take the mouse and put it there. Then you look at the top, top box. You look at you look at uh, the uh, just look in the left bottom, top bottom left. I think that is the order. You see something like a URL. They show you a URL or the source of the URL source of this image. The video HTTPS edit solution slash WP slash post so PHP. Then post is equal to five nine nine eight. That is the image ID. That's how we get image IDs. Okay, for beginners you can use that one. But if you know another way which is a little advanced, you're welcome to put that in a comment. But uh, like as I told you, we try to simplify work for the novice users, people who are just embracing this platform because it's so such a nice platform. All right, so you just hover on the image and the image ID will come down there. You see, it changes, it changes, it changes. Then copy this image ID either on a paper, go back there, the design. Pick it, simply paste it. You should know the section where you're putting it. So, if you're working with any page builder and you happen to be locked out, this is the way to go. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. I won't uh, keep this video so long. Let me try to end it here. I remain Edward Sevume, uh, Director Editech Solutions, Director at Headwork, Director at Roughlight.com, Director Editech Promotions. We have a lot of sites and all of them are after solving problems of people in the world. I sign out, don't, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you click on the bell so that you don't, you get notifications every time we upload a video. And thanks so much for the patience, bye.